Alrighty, this is going to be my uh, review for the first episode of the What If series. It is What If Captain Carter were the first Avenger. And honestly, I gotta say, like, this is a pretty amazing introduction to, like, the new series. The animation was great. I thought it was, like, kind of similar to, like, the, like, you know, the Bad Batch and the Rebels animation. But way more, like, polished and stylized for, like, what... You know captain america is i thought that was pretty good uh i thought that they uh explained the concept of the what if series to the watcher pretty well uh these are just like the uh these different timelines and the watcher is you know you know watching them and he will not interfere or at least he says he won't um and from what i understand this is like actual events from the mcu uh so, so it's a direct result of what has happened in the Loki series, I assume. And I believe I re read somewhere that like these uh, characters might uh, potentially show up in the live action movies or uh, Disney Plus series as they explore the multiverse, which is pretty exciting, I think. Um, especially when we're getting into like, you know, a Secret Wars type thing. That'd be pretty great. And from the way I understand the changes from the first Avenger to this uh, What If episode is that, you know, since uh, Peggy Carter was a, you know, very healthy, strong, and very skilled fighter uh, when she became a super soldier, you know, Captain Carter, she was just like, you know, that much more effective um uh, than steve was who was a frail person before becoming captain america um and it makes sense and you know we kind of see the same thing with uh the u.s agent character as well uh and the falcon and winter soldier uh and since she was more effective they were able to intercept the tesseract from hydra and therefore, the Hydra Stomper was created uh, by Howard Stark for Steve uh, because of it. And I thought all the action scenes with the uh, Hydra Stomper were pretty... Uh, there, it was a little uh, gratuitous, uh, but it was pretty great. How he was just like smashing the tanks and stuff. Uh, but I guess if his, you know, the suit's powered by a literal Infinity Stone, he would be able to do that. Um... I thought that the, uh, you know, the feminist, feminist messaging was also pretty good. And, uh, we see how, like, the general, at first, uh, whenever, uh, Peggy, like, at first become a super soldier, he was like, oh, well, you're, you're lucky to even be in the room. And then, as she's very successful being, uh, Captain Carter, and later on, when they're trying to, you know, form a plan to attack Hydra and save Steve. She's like, oh, well, you're, you're lucky you're even in the room to him. And I thought that was pretty, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, and it just, uh, it's, it's just a critique on the whole frame of mind that the uh, military had where, like, they believe that women couldn't even be effective soldiers at all. And... But other than that, uh, anyway, I'm pretty excited for the next episode. I thought that um, this first episode was really good. And from what I understand, the next episode is what if Black Panther, or T'Challa, I mean, became Star-Lord. So that's going to be a very interesting episode. It's also going to be pretty sad because... Uh, as we know, this is the last uh, lines that Chadwick Boseman had recorded before he passed away. And, uh, you know, it's going to be kind of, uh, it'd be, it's going to be very sad to uh, see that it's going to be like a final farewell from him. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, something to think about, I guess. Anyway, um... So far, the show has been very good, and 
and then I'd hopefully be able to continue doing videos like this. Um, if I'm filling up to it, I'll get them out sooner rather than uh, th at the last second, which uh, is what I'm doing this video. But uh, anyway, I, f I would appreciate it if you would uh, like and subscribe and then, you know, maybe go over to, to my Twitch and hit the follow button there. Um, that's where I uh, am most of the time. But uh, anyway, I uh, hope um, everybody is doing well and I hope everybody has a stellar night.